Hey guys, Oogs, I'm still depressed, discouraged. I don't understand how the hell we ended up by losing that game against Everton. What I do is I record the game and I watch the game again, away from all kind of sentiment and emotions, so I can make the right judgment. So after watching the game again, I came up with uh, my player ratings. Let's start by Frank Lampard. Lampard is going to score 4 out of 10. I've already made another video about my 5 talking point. So I said everything I wanted to say about Frank Lampard. I don't want to repeat myself. You can just click on the link at the end of this video so you can watch my 5 talking point. Frank Lampard is the one who came up with uh, the lineup and also the formation and all the tactics. He didn't make changes on time and all the changes were wrong. So he's going to answer some questions here. I'm going to give him 4 out of 10. Edouard Mendy is going to get 6 out of 10. I know everybody is going to blame him for the penalty and I get it. But the problem is we didn't lose the game because of the penalty only. We lost the game because we couldn't score. We couldn't find solutions. I don't expect Edouard Mendy to be perfect. I am expecting him to do the basics. And he's doing the basics right and he's going to make mistakes in the future that is part of the game everybody makes mistakes including Noya, Buffon, All Black and all the big names Edouard Mendy 6 out of 10 Ben Shewell is going to score 6 out of 10 he almost gave away another penalty we were lucky that uh, the player was offside and the VAR saved us from that second penalty. So, Chile overall was very poor just like the rest of the team and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to blame everything on Chile. I'm going just to give him 6 out of 10. Thiago Silva is going to score 6.5 out of 10. It's very uncharacteristic characteristic from Thiago Silva to make mistakes but today he made few mistakes here and there we all know how good he is on the ball he can play the ball from the back and break lines but today was one of those days that uh, nothing really worked out and he got caught out of position few times nothing really I can say about it 6.5 out of 10 Kurt Zuma is going to score 7 out of 10. Zuma didn't do anything extraordinary. He did some normal stuff as usual. We all know that he's not that good on the ball. And the entire team, like I said, were very poor. So I'm not going to blame anything on Zuma. I didn't see anything but I didn't expect anything from Zuma besides maybe a header or something like that. But it didn't happen today. 7 out of 10. Rhys James is going to score 7.5 out of 10. To be honest with you, James deserves 9 or 8 out of 10. But because of the overall performance of the team, I don't want to give high score to players. Rhys James was one of the few players that uh, could go home and be proud of himself. He hit the post at some point. He was putting those sexy crosses in the box and nobody was there to finish actions. James was immense. He made few mistakes here and there, lost the ball a few times, but overall Rhys James was Rhys James. 7.5 out of 10. N'Golo Kante is going to get 7.5 out of 10. Just like Chris James, N'Golo Kante was N'Golo Kante. 
you don't expect golasos from Engolo Kante, right? You expect him to break the play, to help the defense and the attack, and he did what he was supposed to do. But overall, the team were very poor, and I can't blame anything on Engolo Kante. He's going to score less because the overall performance of the team was very poor. 7.5 out of 10. Kovacic is going to score 7 out of 10. Kova tried to dribble a little bit too much at time. The passing were awful today. You expect him to learn how to shoot the ball. He doesn't know how to shoot the ball. No end product as usual. He was very frustrating at time. I don't know about you, but when I watched the game again, I think Kova could have done better. The game was screaming for some magic and Kovacic got some magic. He can dribble. So if he could use his dribbling ability at the edge of the box or inside the box, we could have got a penalty or he could have passed the ball to somebody inside the box to score a goal. But the problem with Kova is he just dominate his area. He just turning around, roundabout, roundabout, sideways, backward. So I'm gonna even take my score away. I'm gonna give him six out of 10. Mason Mount is going to get 7.5 out of 10. Just like Rhys James and Engolo Kante, he's one of the few players on that field that can go home and sleep and be proud of what they did on the field. He hit the post at some point during the game. He was trying and even tried a little bit too much because nobody was doing anything. So he tried to play any kind of role, attacking, defending, dribbling, doing everything. And sometimes when you do too much, you end up by not being productive, if that makes sense. 7.5 out of 10. Timo Werner is going to score 4 out of 10 and I've been very kind. I'm giving him 4 because of the hope that I have in him. I know he's going to improve in the future and I don't want to discourage him and put him down. He doesn't even deserve 4 out of 10. He deserved 1 out of 10. At some point during the game, I was even wondering if he was on the field. He couldn't do even the basics of what he does good, which is the speed, the pace, you know, running behind defenders. He didn't do any of that and he was awful in general. 4 out of 10 and I've been very kind. Kai Harvard is going to get 4 out of 10 from me and I've been very kind. I don't want to continue to kick him when he's already down. I want to encourage him. This is for the hope that I have in him but he doesn't even deserve 1 out of 10. He deserved maybe 0 out of 10. He was very lazy, lazy passing, lazy running, lazy everything. This is not the Bundesliga, brother. Because the same kind of passes that he tried today, he was going to succeed in the Bundesliga. I'm not going to give him any more excuses. I know he's from an illness, but it's been more than a month. How can you continue to give him excuses of fatigue and all that? No, it doesn't apply anymore. It's time for him to up his game to the level of the Premier League. Olivier Giroud, 4 out of 10. He was awful. No more I can say about it. I told you guys that when Olivier Giroud start playing week in and week out, it's going to be a very different story. The lack of pace, the lack of mobility, everything was awful from Olivier Giroud today. 4 out of 10. 
Tammy Abraham, 5 out of 10. Tammy didn't do anything on the field, but the sub wasn't the right sub. It's not his fault that he was on the field and played in the wrong position. Now everybody can see that it's not Tammy's fault that we don't score goals. Everybody in that final third got a lot of mistakes. But Tammy is the easiest target because he's from the academy, he's English, and his name is not Tamil Dino. I'm not gonna score Billy Gilmore because he was on the field for only 8 minutes. Leave your comment and let's have some discussion. God bless and see you in the next one.